Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of the mainline, we're hopefully going to get the first mainline, the central mainline, completed as far as uh, Bolton, at the very least, in this episode. I think the central mainline will probably go to uh, West Bromwich, and then it'll probably terminate there. And that having a central main line probably assumes there's going to be like a western and an eastern main line, and there possibly might be. I don't not sh not entirely sure, but yeah. And in, in this episode, at least the very least, I would like to get this first central main line up and running, and as far as Bolton. So let's dive straight in, shall we, and get some uh, stations built. And obviously, I want to, once I've got this completed, I want to try and get some high speed trains on it as well. So let's get lots of works up demolished first of all yeah let's delete all of this and that, no, let's just check actually the overlay that one yeah we can afford to delete a little bit more i know uh, a little bit of a, an extravagance but we can afford it we've got 3.5 billion in the bank so we don't have to worry too much about money so i think what we'll do in this episode or well, for this station is uh we will no, we'll keep the ultimate station. We'll build another ultimate station at some point, but I think for today we'll just build a standard King's... Oh, should I build Great Western? I think... Have I used these in a video? I think I might have used them during a little bit of a speed build that I did. So it needs to be 240 metres long because it's a mainline station. And it needs to go there. Two tracks. GWR, yeah. Fine. Catenary, yes. High speed tracks. Number of tracks, two. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with the two tracks. And I'll just bolt it straight on there. And let's just take a look at the station. Probably keep the station as is, actually, to be honest. It looks perfectly formed. Nice little station. Uh, but what that does mean, it needs we need some track, first of all. The actual track itself, I'm just going to leave as non-electrified for now. But the actual stations themselves are being electrified. Just keeps things simple for when we do finally electrify this, uh, this main line in the future. So the main line's over there. A Remembering we did the merry-go-round junction improvements in the last episode. So everything from north of the steel mill is all like two track. It does help keep things nice and simple. And obviously the further north we go, the less traffic. Because anything north of the steel mill really, two tracks will be more than enough. Right, can I just chuck those straight onto there? There's a little bit of a dip in there. Let's just make sure we've got the right level crossings. Probably upgrade this road to be honest get another one on there like so just chuck that straight onto there hopefully i've put that track on the right side on the correct side yeah we'll just we'll just have two level crossings i think uh just upgrade this road probably upgrade most of this actually let's take ownership of this little bit here and that bit just to stop the AI getting ideas and then just chuck that on there like so. So yeah, level crossing, perfectly acceptable in this instance. And then once we come into the actual town itself, we need a street and obviously yeah, just a bridge straight across. Something a bit like that. Maybe should we use, I haven't used one of these through arch bridges for a long time. Let's, let's try something a little bit different. Let's maybe have it like above the station just just for a little bit of some you know just just to make it look a little bit interesting uh green one just a single span obviously because a double span would not be realistic because there's nothing to support the central uh, that bit there so it needs to be one big single span going across the southern part of the station making sure it's clear in the catenary which it is and then we're just going to come down like so and then get rid of the u and i'll probably just keep that our street for now oh, just no just build that's the one from there like so and obviously that's going to need some form of abutment so we're going to need a wall for no cap and then just raise this right up until it's glitching through the road and then just do some fine movements as it goes up and down page down please thank you very much actually oh yep still having the issue with the with the arrow keys just want to glitch it through the bridge and then back down again just to make it look as if it's actually resting on something and then the same on this side yeah my workaround is is kind of having to move sideways it's not ideal to be honest and uh, let's just i think i just bring this wall right out so we can actually see yeah page 
page down, page up is also interacting with the menu as well, which is all great. And I think I'm just going to delete that and then just try again. Just want a bit more of the wall visible. And I just want to make sure it's like right smack bang in the middle as well. Something a bit like that. Yep, that's all good. And then I think a little bit more track. And then probably one more overbridge. So we're probably going to have to uh, delete that and then just chuck in another, another little bridge. Actually, I think this time we'll just have a country road and we will own it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be high enough. We will stick with a standard girder bridge this time. That should be high enough to clear any catenary that comes later on. And then we'll just put that straight into there. And then probably the same with that, just straight into there. Like so. And then I think I'll just finish this little bit of little bit of road off. Maybe just have it running alongside. Just give any any development a kickstart like so and then i think what i want is i want a road running parallel with the station on the flat say oh not not like that same with that again just flat and then just can i get that straight into there yeah it's not it's not the best corner in the world but it'll do the job and then just smooth that off a little bit and the same over here just smooth this off and obviously we just want another another abutment yeah really can you tell i'm not enjoying this uh this keyboard binding malarkey and let's just chuck that on there yeah i have tried to adjust the keyboard bindings but it just won't let me bind the directions to the arrow keys so it's not like i haven't tried changing it yeah just chuck maybe just a little bit further back and then what i normally do just on these like girder bridges is just finish these with like fake caps which are just basically the girder bridge pillar and then you just kind of glitch it through the end something a bit like that don't want to spend hours on it but it just helps finish the bridge off, makes it look a little bit tidier because obviously the the actual snapping is obviously snapped to tracks. It doesn't snap to road, so you do have to kind of do it manually, but it just, just makes it look that little bit better for the road bridge. Just finishes it off, caps those ends of the bridge off. Good, so we've made a little bit of progress. Now onto Bolton and uh, uh, as always, trying to achieve that 125 miles per hour i've switched on some trains i think the two oh, i think no i have just literally turned on the two 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 meridians for this just for now uh so yeah that's all good west bromwich not west bromwich bolton is going to be a um well that's the main connection is it is going to be a through station as well so let's just get rid of all this for now get rid of that and then i think what i'll do is i'll just chuck a road on from there on the flat no it wants to be a straight road just hook that up and then I'm just going to flatten this terrain from here. Not really necessary, but it just helps uh, get the, set the station height. And then what should we do? Building King's Cross. Two tracks, 240 meters long. And then we'll probably just set it about there. Hopefully should be far enough away. And then configure this. King's Cross. We'll use those. Oh, it's too far. <laughs> it's too close. Right, okie dokie. I bet you it isn't, it just says it is for, for whatever reason, just to make it awkward. Right, so let's get these get these steps in with ticket barriers. This is like a newer station, just a few of them. Smack bang in the middle, and then we'll have just like an overpass set of escalators, ticket machines on that side, and then benches on that side. And then we'll use obviously the roof over that, and that'll cover that as well. Yeah, so the stations aren't particularly complicated, but they are, you know, just two two track stations are nice and straightforward to construct. Uh, let's just nibble off the end of that and then just get that into there like so. And then you just run alongside to about there and then a bit of road into there like so. And I think what I'll do is I'll just build a few roads kind of going into it as well. Just again, to encourage some development, try and encourage the game to uh, to build next to the station like so and then i think what i'll do is probably delete some of that track if i'm honest yeah i think we'll have we'll have a rail over road bridge this time just for a little bit of variety and uh, so you want the main road in there actually i own all those roads as well that i've just constructed now let's tab tab this down let's get this road built actually no we don't want to do that we just want you to be running on the level level embankment yeah, because if you do a bridge transition from a slope, then you do end up with a really horrible looking thing. Uh, let's just, before I forget, 
is the road that want ownership. No, we don't want to own the roads. Don't want to don't want to have to pay for the, the upkeep of that. Thank you very much. And again, we'll just probably downgrade these roads and just take any any ownership off those because we don't really need to own it. Right. So next thing is we want a it's a road underneath the bridge. Yeah. No, maybe a little bit further away. So about there and then just straight across. Probably more than tall enough. Actually, you want to be on the completely on completely on the flat, and we'll just go again with a with a good bridge. Is that pointing up in the air? No, it's not. Is it? That's it. Flat level. Is that straight? I think it is. Right, and then I think what I'll do is I'm going to delete all of this track after I've built it, and then hopefully we'll get a nice transition onto onto that. Look a little bit less roller coastery. I mean, it's still a little bit roller coaster. It's it's quite a steep incline that, but we're not going for ultra realism. We're going, you know, we're trying to be realistic-ish, but again, we're, talk, we're dealing with the scale of the map. We haven't got like, tons of space, a nice gentle slopes, and then that's straight into there like so, and then they just get this road connected up, which I do want to own this time. Basically, the only roads that you really want to own are little bits of kind of higher speed road like country road that you don't want the game or the AI to uh, downgrade hopefully this should fix any connections so no no ownership of that okay you connected up you connected up to that and then I think we'll just bring this round hopefully that should be classed as an outside connection which it is so it's happy get rid of whatever that is and then I think what I'll do is just finish off a little little bit more road I don't want to build too much road but just trying to encourage Encourage any development, get all the roads hooked up. Maybe another little bit more road there, like so. And then obviously we want the abutments on this. So assets, that one, two, grey cap. So it's one there, no cap. One, two, three, and then grey cap. So front, uh, so that one there, no cap. One, two, three, and then grey cap. Hopefully that should give us a nice and what I've done there that oh, I'll just leave all the abutments in I think I know they're glitching through each other let's just leave that I normally turn the uh, the abutments off when I'm doing the other walls but I'm just going to leave it and then really quick bit of smoothing on this like so and we've got quite a lot done haven't we so shall we continue up towards West Brom if yeah if I can uh, <laughs> if I can actually navigate around the map now, what I want to do, I want to get a route on, I think. I'm just going to put in a... Uh, so I know the West Brom isn't very far away, but I just want to try and get a route on before we finish the episode up. We'll see how much time we've got after we've done this. So we're going to put a bit of a signal on. Let's put some signals on. So a one-way signal. And I'll put a one-way signal on the, uh, on the station. So coming in and out of the station. Same on this side. Out and in. Like so. I think I'll put a signal just before the level crossing no that's definitely on the wrong side and then one there and then there's another another level crossing down here as well isn't there like so and another one there and i think i'll just do a few couple of block sections we're not going to have tons of trains operating on this route i don't think but obviously we do need a couple of block sections and then maybe just one more around there with the signal facing the right way come on no that's definitely track signal signal not a station signal good right so i think this first what route have we actually got going on we've got one that goes to just goes to northwich and to liverpool i think i will take that route should that's a pax Oh, what have I done there? Pax. Oh, right. Okay, okay. I haven't, uh, haven't been keeping up with my naming convention. Pax Rail. Right. So I'm going to delete all of those actually. So we're up in Bolton, Worksop, Northwich, and then into uh, straight into Liverpool, which is over here. Right. Good. <laughs> I think it's navigate left to right. Okay. Good. Yeah. And then obviously Worksop Central. I'm going to recolor this orange because we're going to be using different trains. And then I'm going to get the passenger ones pax rail as much as i like the 175s we'll keep those on other routes but this one i'm hoping we can actually use some high speed trains i'm not sure if they're going to get up to high speed but hopefully they might do right so we're going to put in a uh, temporary depot just because i want to get the train in as close to the station as possible and then just get that hooked up 
to that we can unpause the game because i think we've pretty much fixed everything that's all fine that's bolton that's fine works up you're not in the central are you just works up just double check that route so bolton works up north yep that's all fine good like let's get a train purchased no that's definitely configuring that's um that's a cargo building well a cargo platform thing i want i want a depot that's better let's try that that, that allows you to buy trains right so this possibly could be overkill but i'm going to try it anyway because i want to try and use the 222s what year are we in 2015 where's my 222s definitely not electric are they not steam i'm pretty sure they were uh they were released in 2002 weren't they 2015 yeah, I think I oh, know what I've done. Right, okie dokie. Bear with me. I will have to come back and uh, try this again. I think you need to subscribe or switch on the Voyager as well, don't you, for it to work. It must be a dependency. So I'm going to do that now. Okie dokie. So now we've got some uh, some Voyagers and Meridians. And we've got the... I know it's a bit early, but we've got this nice colour as well. Actually, I do like that uh, EMR. I know it's a bit early, but we're not playing like realistic British, are we? So uh, let's... Add one of them. We'll change the colour of the uh, of the route, obviously, to match the colour of the train. Um, let's buy three of them. Yeah, I'll stick with the four car for now, um, just because obviously I can't see us using all of that because I think the the one seven the two car one seven fives weren't carrying that many passengers. So hopefully this will obviously with being faster with connecting more places will become a lot busier. But we just want to kind of reduce our losses. And then obviously if it does get busy we can always extend those trains to uh, up to 10 cars i think so i'm looking for passenger rail and then i obviously want to be the maroon color to match the train so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to manually unbunch these i do actually have the, t the new timetable mod i know there's been an update to the timetable mod but i haven't, haven't used it yet and i think there are still a few issues with it what speed are you getting up to please get up to at least 100 <laughs> Otherwise, ooh, only got up to 80. It is a little bit overkill, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see how they get on. I just hope they uh, hope they make a little bit of money. So where do you want to get to? You would probably want to get to uh, Northwich before I release another one, don't you? It's getting up to 190, 95. It might get up just over 100 before it gets to Northwich, which it has. Oh, that's getting quite fast now, actually. So maybe it is worthwhile, actually, having the faster trains doing 120 got just up to 120 before it starts to start to slow down or the station and then i think we just want to chuck on another one um i think i'm just going to wait for him to leave northwich yeah these are going to lose quite a bit of money for quite a while i think all right one more we'll just get you as well wait for you to get to northwich and then we'll see about releasing this third one yeah, this first one, just as it was approaching Liverpool, did start to get up to just over 100. So I think it probably is worthwhile having these faster trains. I just hope they make some money. That's the big uh, the big concern. Right, so 800, yeah. I mean, it's got 50 passengers on board, but it does have a capacity of 178. So it is, it is a little bit of a worry, but um, yeah, it is what it is. We don't... We're not really like massively worried about money because we do have like really profitable routes. But yeah, we just uh, we obviously we don't want loads and loads of passenger routes, which are losing loads and loads of money. That wouldn't be good. Right. Release that train. Yeah. If we just just while they're kind of bedding themselves in a little bit, if we just take a look at the rail routes. I'm not really concerned overly with the truck routes. We are we're doing OK. Like the coal route is like our big money spinner. Uh, cargo steel is actually making some money, is it? A little bit, yeah. That's um, I'll take that. Uh, the the oil is. Let's uh, take a look at. Yeah, that's not us doing all right. Actually, I I was expecting it to be honest to make a little bit more money than it has done. It's only making more marginally more than the truck routes, but it's still one of the top earners. I'm glad that the steels, uh, the ores are doing all right. I think this one is doing all right. Yeah, and that one as well. So I think overall we are in the blue, in the black, in the blue. So we don't have to kind of we don't have to stress about money, but obviously we do want our rail routes to uh, to earn us a profit. It's just nice to have nice to have some high speed trains on our main line. And now we've got the main line completed. I think it was a wise decision to kind of change the orientation of the uh, the track, you know, from up, up, down, down to up, down, up, down that we did in the last episode. It just simplifies everything and separates like the slow moving freight on this line going into uh, into the steelworks. But it's all looking good. I know we didn't get to West Bromwich in this episode, but I'm still pretty happy with that. And yeah, there we are. We've got our first high speed trains running on the route. 
going to be losing quite a bit of money for quite a while, but uh, yeah, just happy to have them on the route. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Say until next time. Bye bye.